please don't try this at home. I am driving and broadcasting live. This is not something that I think is probably approved by anybody. But I'm cheating a little bit because I am on my way to go grocery shopping. I don't even know if you can get a shot of me in here. It's pretty dark in here. So this should be streaming live right now to a couple different places. Not sure. So I don't even think I'll know until later whether this works, but possible that y'all are able to see me right now. Well, not see me since it's so dark in my car, but basically, I'll record this for posterity. What this is, is an application that you can get on your phone. Uh, it's supported on iPhone, Android, a couple different others, and it's called Quick. Uh, spelled Q-I-K. So the application's called Quick. And you install it, and you log in, and you can set it up to broadcast out to Twitter, and it'll automatically upload videos to YouTube, and it actually ties in with Livestream, which is the website and program that we're using for DS106 TV. And you make that connection by logging in to Livestream with the account and give it all the information it needs. And all I have to do is open up the application and hit Broadcast, and immediately it'll cut off whatever is being shown on the tel on the DS-106 TV and it will cut that off and say we're going live and you'll start seeing this broadcast. So right now, instead of getting the normal reel, I guess you would call it, of um, videos that was playing, I should be live right now. And um, I don't think I can see the chat to be able to see if people are typing in there or anything like that. Um, it's possible. Try typing something in the chat and I might be able to see it. But, um, but yeah, so this gives anybody the opportunity to broadcast live. It'll um, automatically record these videos, and then we can republish those out as reruns later on the TV as well. So um, we can have, you know, basically same ideas when uh, Noise Professor was out there uh, recording that concert same idea, we could record a concert and video, have that streaming live, and also have the recorded video to show later. Um, gets automatically uploaded to live stream servers, uh, pretty much hands off. So I'm really impressed with this. I've, I've said before to a couple people, and I'll say it again, the one thing that I absolutely hate is the ads, and I apologize for all of the obnoxious ads. Um, it's, I guess you get what you pay for with a service like this, and there's so many cool things about it, but right now it's just the pop-up ads are insane on the video, and there's not a whole lot I can do about it. The price to remove the ads is um, something near insanity. It's like $350 a month, so, you know, pretty much stupid money. But, um, so we'll deal with it for now. We may come across something that's better than this. I don't know, um, but I really like it, and I wonder... I can do my, probably can't do my flashlight on my phone to make it brighter in here. Um, I'll tell you what. Put this light on here just so you can see me real quick. And now you can see that I obviously need a haircut. Uh, but I am not afraid of video. So I will broadcast on this bitch. Don't, don't even test me here. So I'm on my way to do some grocery shopping. Hopefully somebody was able to see this. Hopefully all the, uh, all the tubes got connected and everything's working, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace out.